This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 15, Processing Arrays, Puzzle 14. General Search. In order to make a general search function, and remember we've been doing this for several of these sections, right? So make sure you go back and double check that you have them. We should be able to search for any value, not just 5. We can do this by, we can do this by making the value to search for a parameter as well. Ah, oh, perfect, that's a good idea. Add a second parameter to your search function to represent the item to search for. Great, so we're down here. I'm just gonna do comma, and then you can type it in here. They use the search value, right? I'm gonna show though if you use blocks, it's easier for me to read, so I'm gonna have blocks up as well. And I'm going to do search value, Ooh. search value, this example uses the name, yep, okay, update the code inside, so now we're going to pass this, we're going to use this as a parameter, uh, update the code inside the function to check whether search value instead of 5, awesome, so now instead of 5, search value, okay, and is there any other place, nope, Call your function to search for a different value inside of each array. The console log statement's now inaccurate. Has search value. They're asking us to change our console log. Search value. Okay, we can do that. Followed by the flag. So, now we're going to call it. And then, oh, are we? Uh, yep, call it to search for different functions. Cool. So, I'm going to need to add a parameter down here. So, the first one's the array we are searching. The second one is the what we're searching for. And how this works is, here, let's run it first. Ta-da! And so, this top one's the random array. Let's see. And it is true. What do we search for? Eight. Oh yeah, it's definitely true. Okay. Um, and if you want to get fancy, you can even do my array has the has has a I can do a right. So I can have it output. There we are. Let's see what this looks like. Let's run it again. Yeah. So my array has a 4, true. Array has a 3, true. And if we want to check, these are up here. Does this have a 3? Yep. This has a 4. And an 8 in our random array right here. Yeah. And so, again, what this is doing, this right here, we're asking the computer, hey, run this function, run this code. Okay. And it runs it. It says, all right, make this variable flag, set it to false. Let's do a for loop, okay, of, oh wait, list.length, uh, list, what's list, uh, and it knows it's the first one, and oh, list is this array, our no fives array up here, okay, and then it keeps going, okay, so no fives index zero to start, what's that, one, and oh, I need to check it against search value, wait, search value, what's search, oh, I'm supposed to check it against four, okay, uh, does the first value equal four, no, okay, so it, it skips our if thing, hits the bottom of our loop, and runs again and keeps going. So, it's kind of cool. But, uh, ooh, no eights? Nope. Cool. Uh, this is going to be really handy as we move through this course. Let's, uh, keep going.